What's up guys and welcome to my channel Flame of the Four. In this video we're going to do a DIY drift cosplay from Fortnite. Guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do so and set the bell so you don't miss out on videos like this. Right guys so in this video we're going to show you how to make this cosplay for drift from Fortnite. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to show you step by step on each section that we did and we're going to tell you how we did it. Right so starting with the mask we had one from eBay, so the one that came from eBay was $4.99. It didn't look great when it came, which is what we knew it wouldn't, so we needed to modify it. The first thing we did is we took a standing knife. You can also take a crafting knife, and please be careful and have parental vision if you're going to do this yourself, to cut out the eye sockets. The eye sockets didn't look aggressive or mean enough like Drift does in Fortnite, so we needed to make the eye sockets bigger, wider, and also we wanted to do it so that we can modify it. If you were happy with your mask like this, you can just put black tights in there and be done with it from this stage onwards. Because what will, what it will do is it will just give it a nice look. And that way you won't just see your eyes coming through. Because if you look at the drift mask, you don't really see his eyes. You just see sort of blanks where they should be. Right, the nose holes where you breathe are not great. You will need to take yourself a standing knife or a crafting knife. Make sure you mark it up with a Sharpie so that you know where you are cutting them out. And then just so you can breathe a lot easier. Because you're going to be wearing this mask all day at Comic-Con. It does get hot and very muggy. And you don't want uh, to not be able to breathe and pass out. Right guys, so once you are happy with that, we will move on to the next stage. This is optional. This is the optional eye glow. This is EL wire, which can be purchased from eBay. It does say a pound there, but the whole kit is about £12 to buy. And it's definitely worth it if you want to go that next level on cosplaying. This session here can be a little bit fiddly. Please have patience. You don't need to rush and get this done in a hurry unless you have left it last minute like I do sometimes. Just take your time because this wire is very flexible. It can bend and twist and like I said, you can cut it uh, down to length if you need to. But the first thing you need to do is really kind of just glue gun it in the inside and work out where you're going to channel it around. Try not to put too much glue on because it can get very messy with the with the glue because the glue the glue gun glue is very um, messy stuff if you haven't used it before just be careful not to burn your fingers because you are get just putting it just on that edge of that eye and that is very uh, hot to touch if you do burn yourself with the glue gun so if you want to you can use gloves or something like that once you are done with the first eye here you need to channel it around into the second eye and then finish off the second eye and then once you are happy with that and the positioning you will need to do a test run so what we'll do now is we'll just show you what it will look like when it's glowing up at night we do also do a little bit of editing on this so i put a little bit of black felt around the edge now which i haven't done when i recorded this video uh, just for the pure fact that uh, you know you can pull it apart and then re-glue it and do stuff like that so um, when you are doing the eyes, like I said, if you are done on this and you didn't want to do the ELY, you can just stick the tights in like this. Make sure you stretch it because if you don't stretch it, you won't be able to see through. Here I'm flipping backwards and forwards on the eyes, uh, showing you what I did when I added stuff to it and when I didn't add stuff to it. So this is kind of like the final piece here right now. So that's what you're going to see when we go to Comic Con. Now that we have finished with the mask, we are going to move on to the hoodie and also we're going to move on to the sports top, which is underneath the hoodie itself. So we're doing a hoodie and a long sleeve t-shirt. Right, so I purchased, this is a woman's small long sleeve t-shirt that was the best thing to get. And the hoodie is just a, a kid's boy's sleeveless sweatshirt with a zip down the middle of it. I didn't do the sewing myself. Someone had to sew in uh, the red stripe for us because I don't know how to sew. Uh, I wish I did. But you could also glue gun this on. He had to cut the sleeve open. Uh, once the sleeve was cut open, then he had to run the red seam um, down the middle. So what he did here is he's just showing you how it did I can't really explain to you too much how it was done uh, and I didn't want to fast forward too much of the footage but if you just take a look at just the skill that it takes to do this uh, with the sewing machine and just how much effect you've seen at the start with the image um, where we are showing you how to do this that the just small details like this where you can't get garments that have this are gonna set off the uh, you know the cosplay so well because it's just going to have so much detail in the design when it's finished. So there you are. So he's just now finished that. It's just tying it off. And then he did it from the inside out. Once you turn it around, 
the stripe is absolutely perfect definitely sets it off gives it that fresh look makes it look like the drift outfit should be because i couldn't find one with a red uh, stripe so this is the option that we went for when we get on to the hoodie, I'll just show you there. As you can see with the red stuff, he does put a bit of the yellow bit on, but I don't have footage of him doing that. But it's pretty much similar to uh, how the red was done. Here we have the hoodie. The hoodie looked a bit too plain. We wanted to add a spin on it, but you know, when you're cosplaying, you want to make it your own, but you also want to make it look similar to what Drift would look like in Fortnite in real life. So this is some footage of him putting the zip in. I have no idea how to do a zip, but this is his footage on how to do it. We have fast forwarded it only by eight times, just so we don't lose too much of what he's doing there. But if you want any more of this uh, in detail, we can go and do a video for you on that. But look at that. Just look at how that zip is put in. Just a small detail like this is just what sets this outfit off. It really does. Definitely makes it. Uh, what it is right now you've seen the um, image of it at the start and it's definitely perfect and it's put a little pocket in for us so if um, Jake wants to store anything in there on the day you know he can and it's a working zip it's not just there for show if you want to add that sort of effect you could just cut something and then glue gun it in if you didn't want it as the detail and um, there is a little yellow strip that you couldn't see there um, on the right hand side but we will go into this in great detail in another video um, but this one is just the one showing you just a quick guide on how this was made. The next thing we're going to move on to is the weapon. So this is uh, Drift's axe, and I'm going to show you how that was made right now. So here we're getting Jake to prime the uh, stick. So we just got a wooden stick, which was uh, a normal broomstick that you can buy. I think it wasn't a lot of money. It was about two ninety nine. Uh, he primed the stick. Once you've done the stick, you just need to get yourself some templates. I am fast forwarding through this quite quick and just showing you what we did. So this is just some of the foam that you can buy, which is like flooring foam. We took it and we just got our, these are actually made up. These aren't even measured out to any exact specifications. It's just how I thought roughly it could be. You can cut this foam with scissors. You can cut it with um, a crafting knife, just do templates. Always start off with cardboard templates and then just when you're happy, you know, put it onto the foam and cut it out and just piece it together. This is quite fast forwarded through. Here you can see where he primed the stick. I cut it into two and then I just taped it around with some masking tape and duct tape. And to hold the head on, I haven't got footage of holding the head on, but it's pretty much similar to how the chain and the bottom is held together. So I'll just quickly talk you through that. And I do have a bit of footage of that coming up very soon. Right, so once you're happy with it, when it's looking how it's supposed to be, you know, if you can't really spray paint straight onto this foam stuff because it absorbs it, so the best thing to do is get some acrylic paint and just paint over it white. Here, Jake is painting over white just to give it a nice base coat. Once you've got a nice base coat, then you can start to add detail. You can just do all of the detail if you want to with the paints but I've chose to do this one with spray can so this is just $4.99 from our model shop it's just a nice bright vibrant pink that they use to paint model cars with uh, this was just like the brightest pink I could find as you can see we have actually masked off some of the silver stuff just because we want to just be able to just keep the silver bit silver and you know and the uh, the pink bits as pink as possible we do go over it with a lot of detail um, most of this foam here though is was held together by just the glue gun so the glue gun held a lot of this together we just made the structure up as we went along added the screws in as you can see there the screws are just screwed into the foam there was no preparation for that you can just glue the heads on if you want to uh, this is just going over with detail you don't have to go into this much detail if you don't want to we just wanted to make sure that our axe stood out from the crowd and that's why we have gone just a bit above and beyond on this but you don't have to do it this much if you don't want to okay this is just an example of the masking of it so you just you all you have to do is just follow it around as neat as possible you don't have to go um to that great length it doesn't peel it off if you just get like masking tape that isn't as strong as like the 3m stuff just some like real cheap stuff that you can get from bnm for like a pound that's probably the best stuff to use because it won't peel any of the paint off and then you'll have a nice design that looks like this i am going to show you now quickly how we stuck the bottom on and this is exactly the same way as i stuck the top we just took some barbecue sticks so these are like 
big giant cocktail sticks that you can buy. They're about 99p for 20 of them. And we just stuck them into the bottom of the phone. Then we slid them underneath the tape that's on there until it matched up. So that's all we had to do really. So that it looks like this. So that's all that holds that together. Um, the head is very strong, strongly held on by, uh, you know, the, the sticks as well. And we are now going to wrap the handle. To wrap the handle, we used handlebar tape for BMXs. Yes, handlebar tape for BMXs. This is the best stuff and it feels nice on your hands. So when you're walking around with it, it will be soft to the touch and it won't be harsh when you have to do that. So the first thing you need to do, once you're happy with it, as you can see at the bottom here, we have already painted the gold chains with the gold paint. Um, you just need to put the handlebar tape down with some of the glue and hold it into place. If you don't have this glue, I'm not really sure what other glue you could use. I don't think PVA will be good enough, but these guns are not expensive. You can get them from Poundland for five pounds, including the glue sticks as well. So I would invest in this. If you're gonna be cosplaying, definitely go grab yourself a glue gun. Make sure when you're wrapping this around that you're wrapping it around nice and tight, putting plenty of glue on. Go grab yourself some of these um, shaped gems that go on the handle. Sets it off really nice. I did also put a little bit of ribbon on the handle as well, which I got from B&M, which was like 99p, very cheap. This is just some detail that you can put on here, which is what I decided to do. This is just to show that it's been through some hell because obviously, you know, it, it is used to salvage parts and bits to build your, um, you know, your Fortnite. So, yeah, so once you are happy with it, guys, and you are done with your detailing, what we'll do is we will now move on to the bottom half. So the bottom half is where the trousers are. So the trousers are nice and simple. These are boys, kids, stretch jeans. They look really cool. Definitely something Drift would wear. And they were only 12 99 and they were delivered in two days, so that was really good. And they're skinny fit, so they work really well. The shoes and laces, again, these were bought from eBay, um, and they're very nice with the gold laces there and the tongues make it set it off really well. They were $14.99 uh, for any size, and they only took a couple of days to come as well, so it's definitely a good purchase. The laces here, as you can see, were £1.85, definitely not an expensive part of the kit. And definitely sets it off and you know he can wear these sort of things afterwards the trousers definitely the gloves they again they are such a cheap item they were like £4.49 definitely good to have out and about afterwards once you finish cosplaying don't forget any of these outfits can be worn apart from obviously the, the mask and the axe but that is what it looks like you can see at the bottom there the chain the chain was done by cutting it and then looping them around and then re-sticking them we uh the outfit Probably took around about a week to do, but it was just done in between work and other stuff. There he is, wielding his axe. Such a great outfit. Can't wait to see you guys at Comic-Con. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. If you did like this video, please comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye-bye.